I think for some of us, myself included, simply starting out a hunt on Hirschfelden is daunting enough already, but today, to add to that, we're taking on one of the most challenging hunts I can think of. The goal for this hunt is to take at least a gold of all four of the biggest species in the game, all with the recurve, and of course those four species in order are the European Bison, Cape Buffalo, Plains Bison, and Water Buffalo, and I do think the European Bison are going to be the most difficult to get a gold of, so I wanted to start here on Hirsch, and I think because of that, we'll just try to go in order of size. Now, I've chosen to do this particular hunt in multiplayer, and the reason is pretty much scenarios such as this. Because we can't just change the time to the drink time for whatever species we're after, I think a lot of the, like, spot and stock trying to get in range is going to be a lot more fun, but at least in the case of the particular bison that we just spotted, no chance at making gold. I think it's 181 or 183 for them. It wouldn't be a bad deal to get a little practice, though, especially since we haven't fired the recurve in quite some time. So that's the one. I see maybe, like, just that tiny tree ahead of us as the last bit for cover, so not too sure what to do after we get here. Well, one thing that can happen is we can alert them all, and as we get to see, that's our guy. I mean, he's kind of within range. Maybe we can try that. He's the one facing us. I can't spot him. That looked just about perfect. I think they go aggressive. I don't see his health dropping. That should help us, I think. He's going down a little bit. It's not nearly the rate I would have thought. I'm really curious where the first shot was, and I think we are sort of in trouble here. He's down. Both of these two are coming after us as well, so let's see if we can get rid of that threat. We got that one. We'll worry about the other one then, and then hopefully we can go and see our first shot. I kind of forgot European Bison do this. We used to have a lot of hunts where we would take like the 454 or weapons like that after them, and it was a lot of fun. We had like a lot of charging Bison, but I kind of haven't done this in so long that I forgot they even really were that aggressive, but that is a long hit in all three, and certainly more than we bargained for starting out here, but this is the first female. What I really want to know is the first shot, it looked good. Where did it actually hit? Yeah, straight flesh. It was a little low. Fair enough, then. I thought it might have been the lack of penetration from the 700 grain uh, traditional arrows, but they did just fine. And in the case of both of the sort of half trotting aggressive shots there they seem to do pretty good as well so we'll be happy with all that still though no uh no gold to speak of finally we have a level four and i believe all level four european bison are guaranteed to make gold but that estimate of 196 to 256 would guarantee that he is going to be above that requirement and after an hour and 40 minutes of nothing but level 3s and pretty much low estimate level 3s, I decided to try switching servers. This one is their drink time, and I think we're in a good spot. There's a bunch of brush. We should be able to basically stock up there. And we have a solid probably 15 real minutes until the drink time ends. So as long as we take our time here, I think we should be able to manage this. That's our guy. Uh, I don't know why he just went to alert all of a sudden, but... We may need to sort of change plans. I'm not taking this shot again. There's no way I'm going for another frontal angle, but if he stops again broadside, I thought he was going to, but we might kind of creep out of the brush here. I don't know if it's the wind or what the problem is. There's no predators on this map, which is, I guess, a good thing, because he shouldn't just suddenly flee. I think given this opportunity, while they're kind of just milling around, we're going to scoot over into here. I want to make sure... Yeah, he just went to alarm. I really don't want him running off. It should be doable there. That looked perfect. He's going to go aggressive. I see vital blood. So, what we're not going to do is risk hitting him in the skull or anything. I think all of these are going to go aggressive. So, because I'm pretty sure we're done here, there shouldn't be any way that he doesn't end up a gold. We may grab this guy and kind of just run off of the entire map. Let's just go ahead and claim him. 207 gold, in fact. Not too bad. Real close to the top end of the low estimate that he had. But yeah, finally, 
after an hour and 45 minutes, we can head on to Varanga. I'm kind of thinking we might need to change up our approach here, because we haven't even gotten to the first place I wanted to check. And the one potential issue I saw happening is already happening. We have literally no in-game sound minus like little actions we can do. There's no running sounds, that Gems Up warning call made no sound, and I think that's going to make recurve running pretty difficult. So what we may try is looking for a server in Cape Buffalo drink time, and then trying to get one down quickly, because it seems to be like a progressive thing. So maybe if there's a server up like that, we can manage. I had no idea this guy was in here. I was trying to get close to a mythical, which also isn't that one, so I don't know where the mythical is, but we're like right in range. 19 meters now, what I'd like to do is kind of, well, kind of not have him turn and face us. I think he's a bighorns level 9 as well, but I want it to be in here so that we're fully hidden. I don't love the idea of trying to shoot like through his shoulder, but I mean, at Whatever this is, 15 meters, it feels doable. Make sure we get zero back down to 20. And then if we can kind of be out here to the left a bit, we're still fully hidden. I want to let him lift his head. We'll start to draw and then try to get a shot just back through the lungs here. I think that is lung blood. He's going down good and quick. Is he actually big horns though? I'm not sure if I could tell. That was interesting. Evidently, I don't know if they die earlier than it shows. It kind of makes sense with their animations, but that is that is a Bighorns level 9 Cape Buffalo. We have, like, no sound, which I guess is why I didn't know they were in there. They probably would have been, like, audible footsteps for quite some time. A 1 to 59, by the way, full quick kill. Double lung on a really massive diamond cape, almost above that 160 mark. I'm shocked that we got the full quick kill in the 1,000 score, but that's really cool. And oddly enough, it almost got to the point where the exact reason we're in multiplayer was worrying me. He was in that spot where I wasn't so sure, like, that we could have gotten in there. And, of course, not even chasing him at the time. So, as it turns out, we have back-to-back -back maps with some sort of pretty major issue. I totally forgot about this, and this would be the case on Silver Ridge Peaks as well. When we try to fast travel, and I wanted to pretty much hunt the Plains Bison up in this area, we can try to fast travel to that lodge, and what it's going to do is actually spawn us back at the like original spawn point as if we'd never hunted on the map before. Now, it's not too bad, we don't have that far to run, so we'll make do. But I have the same issue on Silver Ridge Peaks, and I totally forgot that was going to have to be something we'd have to overcome today. Well, this is not at all what I thought was going to happen. I guess he was going to turn back, or... I don't know whether to go for this shot or not. I mean, it should be hittable. I don't have a clue where he was or where he came from. Now, I know they are scored different than the European Bison. So, as a level 4, it should be a guaranteed gold. I don't know what gold is for them. His estimate was very low, but... I'm pretty sure he has to make it, and in that case we might be on to Water Buffalo. We've been on Yukon for about an hour and a half again, and a 168 gold where gold is 148, so he's well into it, but of all ways, one just sort of runs at us and that's it, so go figure, but I guess we're now on to Water Buffalo. Now this is a lot more of what I thought we'd be doing on this hunt. Kind of like spotting the animals a bit farther out and mostly trying to find a way to get in range. And that's what made that shot on the Plains Bison so conflicting. It just kind of ran right to us. But I think especially here on Parquet, it's going to be tough. Like where they're bedded, there's not really any real cover. Really much beyond this, I'm not too sure. I'm not confident enough at all to take like an 80 meter shot, so how we're going to do this, I don't know. We may have to go over that way, but then we're going through like a maze of them unless we shoot that one. I think that's going to be the move. We'll kind of go in that direction and see. The wind's not going to be too good for that either, but maybe that end one will be doable. My worry is that we're 
kind of running out of room here. And he's attentive there at around 40. I really never fire the recurve at that kind of range. I want to get around this tree. I mean, everything directly in front of us now is pretty much water. And if we get into much more than what we have now, the game is going to force us to stand up. And at that point, yeah, we're going to have an alert water buffalo. We do already. So I guess we're going to try if we can get like a 40 meter standing still shot. We'll try it. He's only attentive. I actually think maybe then the way to go might be to alert him. Maybe while he is giving us a shot. Oh, that looked perfect. I don't know if that hit where I think it did, but it looked like it dropped right in behind his shoulder. He's going down. Uh, I did not consider this aspect of things. Are they? Oh boy. If we survive this, I will be amazed. I think, realistically, our best chance is to kind of do this dance and hip fire, because then we don't have to stop. How on earth do we just hard shot that one? Okay, two are gonna be dead, real quick. Ah, didn't quite work to plan, but I figured we had a chance to draw back. So the thing is, a long time ago I had an issue with my mouse, and because I no longer have, ooh, that would hurt. Uh, I no longer have it to where you have to click and hold. What happens when you go to reload is the game puts the gun or bow down automatically and then brings it back up afterwards. So that almost cost us there where we had to draw back a second time. But we are one water buffalo away from surviving this. And by the way, I think we got at least one bonus gold out of this already, if not two. The one that we shot there, we hit him in the head. So I think that is going to cost us. In the meantime, eventually, this guy should maybe give us a chance. Oh. I've never had such difficulty getting close to a charging water buffalo, but we hit him anyway. I think a bit back. All the hip fire shots have been like right on the money. And the ones where we're actually drawn back and aiming have not been so much, but I think we're good. After all that, double lung liver on that one. That's the one that we hard shot, which right through the center of the heart, double lung and everything. Not a bad deal. And there was just the two others, and then, of course, the first one we shot. I think the host left, so hopefully the hunting pressure isn't a big deal, but yeah, that was one gold there. And then, I guess this is the one that we shot in the skull then? It looks like it. Now, the thing is, the game is notorious for having the arrow not be exactly where it hit. Yeah, it still did give us a skull shot, but it looked like it may have gone through just the horn there. So there should be one more yet, but I really thought when they were four charging us that we had a pretty good chance of not getting to go and claim this guy. By the way, that one goes up to 152. We just shot one that was apparently higher scoring, but it didn't even look that big to me. But yeah, the first one, 40 meters, right through the bottom of the lungs, and somehow we ended up with I think two goals there could have been three if not for the skull shot, and a much more interesting ending than I thought, but on that note, I don't think there's a better way to wrap up. We're going to go back to the trophy lodge then, and take a look at the cape buffalo we got earlier. A couple of days ago, we took down a small horns diamond cape buffalo in favor of this diamond Roosevelt elk, and now we've taken down the other one in this hallway in favor of a much higher scoring one, and I'm pretty sure our second biggest diamond cape buffalo ever in the most bizarre of circumstances, just trying to kill a decent sized gold, there was a huge diamond in there just waiting on us, and it was really the perfect storm of like, no audio, I didn't know there were buffalo there to kind of look around and try to spot, no footsteps to be heard, and just suddenly looking in an area and getting that level 9 to come up, but that was really cool, I think I'd like to do more with the recurve in the future, so maybe we can try like hunting the smallest species or something like that sometime down the road. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.